What's up? I'm here to tell you guys about my slanky super shop with famous American rock band Alice in Chains. Check it out. As I'm walking up to the venue, I am blown away by the large crowd I see outside. Of course, being a slang class that allowed me to go through the back and use the band entrance to get into the building. As I'm walking through the hallway, a door opens, and who's standing in it? The William DeVore from Alice in Chains. I said hey, he said hey. I proceeded to go backstage and hang out in their dressing room and wait for the band members, Alice in Chains drummer Sean and bass player Mike where we got to sit down and talk to them and ask them questions and they were very cool. Hey guys, I'm backstage at the O2 Academy waiting to interview Alison Chains. Stay tuned. Uh, you know, after all we've been through and, and uh, people that aren't here anymore that's taken on another life of its own to where it's like half the reason I, I'm driven to do this too. Other than my natural, you know, desire to play music and be with my friends, is to continue on what we started with my other friends who aren't here. You know, so that's that's a big driving force for me. And to see that people react to that and that they get to experience, you know, th that their life and their their uh, input continues on through what we're doing that we created together and the things that we made together is pretty cool. You know, you, and uh, I've been fortunate to see the music's kind of change generations, you know, which is pretty cool, you know, you see a lot of younger people coming, it's a real mix of age groups, and that's, that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Took the title from one song and figured nobody called uh, the record that ever, and, but the whole album doesn't, it's not a concept record or anything. It's pretty cool though, I like the, the devil, I like devils and I like dinosaurs, so when it came up to, <laughs> I thought it was great, you know, I mean, I just started, the marketing we got going on the record is like just a cool, like, uh, you know, kind of a tongue-in-cheek kind of poke at organized religion, a little bit, you know, and yeah, it's just a, you know, like Sean said, I guarantee nobody's ever called their record that. <laughs> get up, still dig each other, still have the mm -hmm. passion to create music that you're excited about, and uh, laugh a lot because it's a very funny, strange thing that we do for a living, you know? It's a very different world, you know? And uh, so we just try to, you know, you have to enjoy what you're doing. You have to care about what you're doing. You have to mean what you're doing, especially in this day and age, you know? It's not a financially smart move to be in a band, you're not gonna, the days of, you know, making a whole lot of money doing it and stuff isn't really, you know, that was never the motivation anyway, but that's pretty much gone, so you better like what you're doing, and we we just always have, you know, there's no other reason to do it if you don't like what you're, what you're doing and who you're doing it with, then go do something else, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's a free-for-all, you just gotta try to figure out how you can fit in and how you can make it work, but to sustain it, it's a lot harder to sustain something now because say you make a record and you spend all this money and months and months and time and you spend all this, you know, it's not free to do that and you spend all this hundreds of thousands of dollars to do that and then you set up a tour and that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars and then you go out and everybody wants everything for free. You can't continue to do that. You know, it, it's, it's a really, it's a really hard, it's a lot harder to tour, it's a lot harder to create music now because there's no, there's no infrastructure for it when it, there's no income. You know, we, we came from a time when, you know, where people bought records and you would see that income because you got paid for your work of, you know, if people liked it, they bought it and you got a little piece of that. Now that's pretty much gone. Like we, the last records we've made, you don't see a dime, you know, sold a million albums, you don't see it, it doesn't matter. Does, you know, you already spent all that money to get the buses and, you know, you don't, you, your income's pretty much over. So you, you better just really love what you're doing. A big thank you to Slanky Take Your Shot for giving me the opportunity. I want to thank everyone at PD3 for helping set it up. Big thank you to Sony Xperia for the phone because I got some great footage with it. And Alison Chains, of course, because they were awesome. If you guys want to see more of my awesome super shots, be sure to follow me at Slanky Take Your Shot Colbert. The link will be in the description below.